Little Demon is an animated series produced by FX Networks, a subsidiary of Disney. It stars Danny DeVito, Lucy DeVito, Danny's daughter, and Aubrey Plaza. The other celebrities featured on the show are Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mel Brooks, Will Jackson Harper, Pamela Adlon, Ray Perlman, Shangela, Patrick Wilson, Dave Bautista, June Diane Raphael, Tox Olagundoy, Lamor Morris, and Sam Richardson. The executive producer is Dan Harmon, the creator of the hit series, Community, and Rick and Morty. They are the cast and creators of Little Demon at Comic Con. In short, there's a lot of money and star power behind Little Demon. Also, mainstream media outlets have been enthusiastically promoting the show in every way possible. But that being said, here's the title screen of the show. Look at the background. The background contains the real actual logo of the Church of Satan, a real actual organization that really exists. The sigil of Baphomet, the official logo of the Church of Satan. Why would the actual logo of an actual organization be used in a fictional show? Are Hollywood fitness using mass media to proselytize their religion? The show's official synopsis provides us a clue. Thirteen years after being impregnated by the devil, Danny DeVito, a reluctant mother, Aubrey Plaza, and her antichrist daughter, Lucy DeVito, attempt to live an ordinary life in Delaware, but are constantly thwarted by monstrous forces, including Satan, who yearns for custody of his daughter's soul. While the premise of the show might sound creative to some, it is not. It is extremely similar to series such as Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, where the protagonist is a teenage girl who goes through relatable situations, such as going to high school and chilling with friends. The twist is, she's special and powerful, because of Satan and witchcraft. It is a well-established narrative that happens to be extremely manipulative by tapping into the desires of young people. The simple look at the trailers of the show makes one fact about it immensely clear. It is all about the ongoing agenda of normalizing and even glorifying Satanism and the general concept of evil to the masses. I mean, just look at the trailer and tell me it doesn't openly celebrate Satan. I did not watch the entire series, but a simple look at the various trailers available online is more than enough to confirm another fact. Little Demon is drenched in the occult elite's agenda and symbolism. Satan gives the main protagonist cool powers that allow her to fight back against bullies at school and such. The message is. Satan is your friend. Another message is. Witchcraft is female empowerment. Also, notice the eye in her hair. It tells you that this show was sponsored by the occult elite. In fact, the one eye sign is all over the place in Little Demon. Satan assumes the form of a nice non-threatening dad who looks out for his daughter. In one trailer, we see Satan discovering that his offspring is a girl. He immediately responds. The future is female. By using this feminist quote, Satan becomes cool, accepting, and inclusive. The mom is a cool badass tattooed witch with occult powers. Also, she copulated with Satan himself and bore his child. Little Demon portrays occult rituals and sacrifices as activities that are fun and exciting. Many other series, targeting teenagers and young adults convey the same message. The unholy trinity and an inverted cross. Just pure satanic symbolism being flashed on the screen. Is this still entertainment? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The blatant satanic imagery of the show hasn't gone unnoticed. In a Facebook post, US Congressman Mike Johnson described the show as clearly evil. The shocking ending to the LSU opener was not the most disturbing part of the game last night. For me, that came during a commercial break in the second quarter, when the television audience was presented with a trailer for a new FX cartoon sitcom entitled Little Demon. I couldn't get to the remote fast enough to shield my 11-year-old from the preview, and I wonder how many other children were exposed to it, and how many millions more will tune into the new series, owned and marketed by Disney. 
The trailer included dark images of hell, demons, and satanic imagery, and an explanation that the main character is the Antichrist. Disney provides the surreal description. Thirteen years after being impregnated by Satan, a reluctant mother, Laura, and her Antichrist daughter, Chrissy, attempt to live an ordinary life in Delaware, but are constantly thwarted by monstrous forces, including Satan, who yearns for custody of his daughter's soul. The actress who voices Laura said in an interview, I love that we are normalizing paganism. Pagan. She's a bitch. She's jacked. Another online review explains that Chrissy discovers she's the Antichrist in grisly fashion, quickly reducing a gaggle of school bullies into piles of red goo in what turns out to be the first of many spectacularly gory sequences. Chrissy doesn't seem overly concerned by the whole triple murder thing, shrugging it off with an easy breezy attitude that sets the tone for the rest of Little Demon. Most of the show's best moments come when it leans into its hellish premise and plums the depths of its own depravity. It's likely you've never seen a man punch a hole in his own face before or heard the words, let's go boil some b****s while their heads are still soft in quite that order, and, after two decades of South Park, Family Guy, and other cartoon shock merchants, an animated series finding new ways to disgust is a genuine achievement. What in the world? I could write volumes this morning and unpack pages of Bible verses here, but instead I'm just going to state the obvious. Please be careful. Our job as parents is to guard the hearts and minds of our kids. This culture has become alarmingly dark and desensitized, and this is not a game. Disney and FX have decided to embrace and market what is clearly evil. Stay far from it. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. 1 Peter 5.8it confirms that the U.S. government is using electromagnetic fields from monitors and light resonance to manipulate the human nervous system. Physiological effects have been observed in a human subject in response to stimulation of the skin, with weak electromagnetic fields that are pulsed with certain frequencies, near 1 half 2 Hz or 2.4 Hz, such as to excite a sensory resonance. Many computer monitors and TV tubes, when displaying pulsed images, emit pulsed electromagnetic fields of sufficient amplitudes to cause such excitation. It is therefore possible to manipulate the nervous system of a subject by pulsing images displayed on a nearby computer monitor or TV set. For the latter, the image pulsing may be embedded in the program material, or it may be overlaid by modulating a video stream, either as an RF signal or as a video signal. The image displayed on a computer monitor may be pulsed effectively by a simple computer program. For certain monitors, pulsed electromagnetic fields capable of exciting sensory resonances in nearby subjects may be generated, even as the displayed images are pulsed with subliminal intensity. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.